Welcome back to Grizz Vision here on GoldenGrizzlies.com and the Golden Grizzlies YouTube channel. My name is Neil Rule here with Coach Moose. John Masashio after 6-2 loss to Valpo. And Coach, uh, you guys offensively today had your chances 1 of 10 with runners in scoring position. It's a tough way to go. Yeah, we, we, we had our chances today for sure. And, and uh, you know, uh, two out hitting. Um, we, we, we got beat with two out hitting today without a doubt. I mean, Valparaiso came through with a couple big uh, two out knocks. And, and uh, we just weren't able to uh, get some to fall. And that, that's 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 a momentum thing, and, and that, that really uh, I, I think made it even more difficult to, to overcome that four-run deficit. But um, you know that's a, kind of a theme that we've seen in the last couple of weeks, where you know you look back at the at the Wright State series, you know we had uh, we had a lot of chances to win those games in, in extra innings in the bottom half of the ninth, and uh, and you know games two and three. But you know guys have to just stay loose, relax, and have confidence and believe they can do it. Otherwise, you start to press. And I think maybe we saw a little bit of that today where you know, guys are thinking, i got to be the guy that, that delivers. We need to do this. Anytime you need to or you got to do something like that, you, you create even more stress on yourself versus staying loose and, uh, you know, and being relaxed and having confidence. So, um, you know, I thought, uh, I thought our guys responded uh, well today. You know, we, were, uh, we weren't very good yesterday, and, and I thought we played well today. We made a couple of mistakes early that we, uh, defensively that really, really uh, uh, kind of dug us a little bit of a hole, um, plays that should have been made and, and, and cost us runs, but it's, it's part of the game. You know, mistakes are, are made, but we made them. They didn't. Um, Nate Green was, was very good. I thought he had a strong outing. I thought he did a great job. Uh, overcoming, you know, some uh, some adversity, and he stayed patient. He stayed disciplined. He really pitched like a veteran today, and his pitch count was up. And he threw a lot, a ton of sliders. So we had to move on and get another freshman in there. And and I thought uh, Nate Schwerz did a really nice job too. You know, he's a couple pitches away from uh, from really throwing three shutout innings for us. And and then Luke McCaddy's really come on strong. So you know, we got to build and, and we got to be positive. You know, as long as the, the the effort and the attitude and the energy is is there and. and uh, it was there today, you know. We we didn't get the breaks, and and that's that. So we look forward to this week and uh, and heading to Youngstown for the league play next weekend. And coach, what about that? Now you guys get a chance to get right back on the horse. Game Tuesday at Kent State, Wednesday here against Central, and as you mentioned, a weekend series with Youngstown State. I mean, you guys do have a chance to to really put it behind you and get back to playing ball. Yeah, that's that's the guys are looking forward to that. I mean, this time of year, you obviously need to practice and work on some things, but. Um, you know we're better off uh, playing games and, and, and getting guys some more bats. Especially, you know you don't play midweek games until about you know seven weeks in. So you know it's it's good and schools uh, schools come to a close here. So it is the best time of the year for our guys and, and they start to to really get into the flow of things. And traditionally we played our best baseball down the stretch. So we're all excited and a lot looking forward to it. All right, coach. Certainly do appreciate the time. Good luck in Ohio. Yeah. Thanks, Neil.